The drought continues to get worse as rain just avoids much of the central and southern United States. But how much rainfall do we need in order to get out of this drought? We're going to talk about that coming up. I'm 5 News Chief Meteorologist Matt Standridge. A newest update from the Drought Mitigation Center coming in, coming in hot too, coming in dry. We've got that level three drought goes up to a level four. Level three drought has now really expanded from Oklahoma right into the natural state. The level four droughts, that exceptional drought has really expanded in southeastern Oklahoma and northeastern Oklahoma as well. But things are just bone dry. Now this update does not include some of the rainfall that northwest Arkansas got Wednesday morning, but it was only about a half inch. It really doesn't make a much difference in terms of the drought because a lot of it, as soon as the sun came out, evaporated it back out of the ground. But at least we got a little bit from Benton County, Carroll County, Madison County, Washington County, even Johnson County and Eastern Logan County. We got a little bit too in the Eastern River Valley, but not much around Fort Smith, Poto and Greenwood. But that level three drought now expands right along I-40 and the Arkansas River right into Conway, Little Rock, and then now expanding north and east, even closer to the Jonesboro area. But central and western Arkansas, that's where it's the worst in the natural state. Here's a little bit closer view of home. Uh, we uh, Basically, you can kind of split northwest Arkansas dependent on I-49. If you live west of I-49, there towards the state line, level three drought, a little bit better as you head eastbound, but still, of course, bone dry in Beaver Lake and Rogers, out east towards Huntsville and parts of Madison County. And the River Valley, the drought is worse. Things are just drier from Crawford County southbound, Van Buren, Cedarville south, into Fort Smith, Greenwood, Ozark, Clarksville, Paris, Boonville. We all need some water. Now, the wildfire threat, of course, it's very high, but it's gotten especially high back off towards the east. Anywhere from Jonesboro southwest to Texarkana, we've got that extreme drought now. This was expanded Thursday morning. Uh, so just the highest level of wildfire threat now exists across central Arkansas, back towards the northeast, back towards the southwest. Things are just dry area wide. And a lot of times now we've got the leaves falling early and they just kind of died out, right? They lost their chlorophyll, but they weren't very bright. They just kind of brown, thrown onto the ground, and that's just more fuel for fires. And on top of that, those winds have really picked up across Arkansas and Oklahoma. That increases the wildfire danger. All right, so how much rainfall do we need? Take a look at the brown colors. The darker brown that you see, the more rainfall that you need. It's hard not to notice where you have that seven to eight inch plus area from Fort Smith south into Greenwood, most of the floor county, Scott County, back south towards Mena and west towards Lake Eufaula. We need over a half foot of rain. And the thing is, if you got seven to eight inches of rainfall, let's say tomorrow, it's not all going to go in the ground. You would have huge flash flooding risks. We need seven to eight inches with just a nice, slow, steady rain. That doesn't really happen very often, but we're going to try to work towards that. We've got more rain chances coming up this weekend, so we're going to talk about those in a second. But the drought is definitely the worst in the Southern River Valley, stretching west into Oklahoma, where we need over a foot of over a half foot, right around a half foot, six to seven inches for northwest Arkansas. That includes Bentonville, Rogers South and Springdale and Fayetteville. And then back east, once you hop east of Fort Smith and you head towards Mulberry and Ozark, uh, Paris, Boonville, right kind of the edge, right around seven inches or so, but in Clarksville, six to seven inches. There towards Yale County, we also need six to seven inches. Things are a little bit better out east, but we're still dry. Everyone in Arkansas needs at least a couple inches, uh, but right through the capital and the Conway, five to six inches needed there towards Hot Springs and Texarkana. The most rain that we've had so far for the past several months has been towards the south and east, closer to the Mississippi River there in southeastern Arkansas, where you touch Miss uh, Mississippi, where we just need three to four inches of rainfall. But things are dry and we need a lot. This is a closer view at home. We could easily take a five, six, seven incher. Wouldn't that be nice? That's just slow and steady. We don't have that coming up in the foreseeable future, but we do have a cold front that's coming in this weekend. That cold front from Canada is dropping south quickly. If we can get the winds to turn around and bring in a little bit more humidity, because right now for your Thursday and into Friday, we, we are bone dry. We've had a northwest wind just cooling us uh, down and drying us out even more. Moving into southwest wind coming into Saturday, we can maybe boost the humidity up a little bit. Cold front comes in from the north. Use some of that humidity to make some showers and thunderstorms. The severe threat looks pretty low, but it's still there. We could try to pop up a couple of thunderstorms. That's the best way to get some water this time of year. You don't usually get just low steady rains this time of year. You need a couple of thunderstorms. Here's a look at the severe zones across the natural state for your Saturday afternoon. That level one threat goes from Fayetteville South into Fort Smith. I think the highest chance for, for thunderstorms will be in the mountains and the River Valley 
Valley and then back east into central and northeast Arkansas. Uh, the biggest threat will be hail because there's a lot of cold air coming with this front, so it's not very hard for some of these bigger thunder showers to even produce some small hail. The thunderstorm may not look all that crazy, but it can produce hail just because temperatures are so cold upstairs. Here's a look at future cast. That cold front comes in. It approaches in the morning, but probably doesn't get here just yet. There's a chance for a scattered shower across Arkansas throughout Saturday morning. Later into the day, though, we'll watch some of these thunderstorms develop in the mountains and south, and then I think the River Valley has the highest chance of, of some of these storms. Once we get after sunset, though, I think the hail threat will start to go down, and these storms will start to fall apart a little bit. They'll just be kind of heavy thunder showers going into Sunday morning, especially south of Fort Smith as that front continues to barrel towards Louisiana and Texas. But after that, then we're done with rain for a few days. But we're going to have cooler air, temperatures in the 60s. We'll have temperatures in the mornings and the 30s. We get our first freeze possible. In the River Valley, we're going to try to warm up this weekend before more showers and thunderstorms develop. I think the River Valley has the highest chance of some rain coming up for this weekend. We'll wrap things up Sunday morning.